God bless you. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus, our sweet Lord, our fresh Lord Jesus. I have a word from the Lord for you to share, to encourage you with prayer. And it is always good to know who is the Lord and um, the Bible it is in protocol. You can call it in protocol to pray and how we uh, uh, go to the throne. The throne for God is a throne of mercy. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Help in time of need. Does not our time, does, does the Lord time. And that can be um, sometimes frustrated but the Lord knows what he, he does, does does the Lord is full mercy if we I want to read uh, other scripture and it's uh, very good to know that it is good to go with praise in our mouth and not be complaining and bless the Lord, O my soul, and all what in me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Very important that you know, that you remember what the Lord has done. It gives you substance. It gives you uh, hope that the Lord can uh, do it again. The Lord knows by itself we, we, know, we need the remembrance from the goodness from the Lord in our lives. Who forgave all thy iniquities, who healed all our, all thy diseases, who redeemed thy life from destruction? Very important that to know. Who crowned thee with lovely kindness and tender mercies? That shows in our face and the countenance. That uh, speaks about the receiving the blessing from the Lord in our heart. Who satisfies? Satisfied my mouth with good things, so that thou, thy youth is renewed like eagles. He give us strength and satisfied our soul with good things. The Lord will execute, execute the righteous, righteousness and judgment for all they are pressed of the earth. All, all, all on the earth. God is a just God for justice. This very profound Paul teach us in Philippians four. Praise the Lord always, and uh, here, and this scripture you uh, is a beautiful scripture to uh, to remember if you go in prayer, know what you uh, what to do. Uh, the Lord prays, and thus, the, the, if you praise the Lord, open your heart, open the heart from the Lord, be thankful, and uh, very important. I have also another scripture, and it's very interesting to compare uh, with this scripture is uh, Job. Job is in a very big pain. You maybe know you know the book Job. It's a very very difficult situation, and it speaks about a season from Job uh, that God don't uh, he can don't find God, uh, God. But it's very profound. This um, scripture uh, uh, let let us read and understand what Job is saying. Then Job answered and said, "Even today is my complaint bitter. My stroke is heavier than my groaning." It was very painful. Oh, that I knew where I may find him. There's a very difficult situation, very difficult season. And uh, that I might come even to, to his sit, to his throne. I will order my cause before him. It's very good to know that you know before you go to the throne in prayer that you know what to say and uh, what you want and Sometimes in pain we forgot uh, the protocol, how to pray, and we complain. It's not the way. Um, God is God. is a merciful God. And I fill my mouth with arguments. I will I would know the words which he will answer me. Very important that you know your God. You know that God is enthroned uh, for mercy and grace. And that we need uh, Hebrews 4, verse 16. That we need to know that we are boldly that we don't wait with uh, but bold it is it, it give us the power to speak uh, job 23 is this chapter 1 to 7 
and uh, Job say I know in other words in my words is Job say I know I know what I uh, he answer me and understand what he will say to me the very important that that um, that was that that in a relationship with God you you get understanding um, what God is speaking to you um, verse, uh, verse 6 we will he plead plead against me very good uh, scripture for many christians that they think that if i go to god god will complain to me no that is an own thought and own emotions will he plead against me he have you don't will plead met he, with his great power no god knows no speak uh, the same scripture but he will put strength in me very nice and very very beautiful scripture God will put strength in you. Uh, the, the scriptures in Psalm 18, verse 18, teach us uh, that the Psalm teach us, um, uh, quicken me, Lord, so I can call up your name. And the Lord will you quicken you, make you alive, and give you the strength to pray. And, and in times you are, uh, you have a stroke, you there's pain, there's. God will give you strength in prayer. Know this. It's very, uh, it's very good to know the, the knowledge from these scriptures and to know how we can uh, obtain, how we go to the throne to God. There is a re-righteous made dispute with him. The righteous is, is about uh, how a person is. Um, uh, and in the Dutch translation says sincere. Let the sincere go to the throne from God and uh, it is very beautiful that uh, be righteous and um, made made might be disputed with him it's very good if you are a big sinner it's very first very important to if you are sin uh, forgive for, your uh, ask forgiveness and um, will redeem their life from destruction says Psalm 103 and uh, and who forgives all the iniquities very important to know that the Lord is full mercy and he will forgive all your iniquities and so so I delivered forever from the judge the Lord will deliver you from iniquities that's very key for uh, you that you understand that the God we serve a mighty God and uh, I want to encourage you please share subscribe my channel and share this message so other people can be boldly to God and pray with him and uh, have ask what uh, they have in the heart and praise him praise him in the mighty name of Jesus I bless you that the Lord shine on you and keep you amen